Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are joining our uh, Saturn Telemetry Orbiter Probe, Stop 1, as it is about to make its uh, mid-course correction to put it on a better inclination to with Saturn. Sorry. We're about six minutes out from the burn. I am going to be using the main engine for this one. Um, so we'll just get ourselves here set up on the node. 212 meters per second, our current thrust to weight ratio is showing at 0.03. That cannot be right. So, uh, our engine is active. I, I really, something there is just not uh, registering correctly. Alright, good. I've got all the fuel localized into one fuel tank for my own convenience. We should probably have, I think that delta V number is on point. I just don't see that dot zero three being accurate at all huh very interesting alright well we're gonna burn a minute or so off the clock there we go ah uh, yes delete on close thank you let's ullage our engine very stable ignition alright this burn shouldn't take too terribly long just a couple more seconds really yeah saying we're down to like 13 seconds what does our delta v say now yeah dot oh four very interesting indeed well all right and shut down we'll play chase the node and try to patch this up with our rcs yeah come on you can do it you can do it All right. Well, let's see what that bought us. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, we're either going to. <laughs> I, I I I love this stuff so much. All right. Yeah, the objective here is to come in polar. That looks pretty good. So we're either going to impact with Saturn or we're going to miss it by several million kilometers. I love how it really can't decide. <laughs> What, yeah, like, uh-huh. I'm sure that the margin of error is just that great. All right, so now we just need to set our alarm for an SOI change. Let's see if we can click it. Click it. Got it. Yes. <laughs> it's about five years, 219 days. So we've got uh, quite a lot of sitting before we actually get to do our polar flyby. Really, it's not even a flyby. We're going into orbit. We are definitely going into orbit. All right, and so that does it for that one. And now we're 30 days out from our maneuver here at the uh, Jupiter Atmospheric Experiment. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that and perform our orbital insertion burn. Fingers crossed, anyway. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, so we'll tuck away Kerbal Alarm Clock, catch our bearings. There, yep, yeah, there's Jupiter. Make sure our, all right, good. All of our fuel tanks are locked. And now that maneuver node's up to a 1,000 meters per second. That doesn't seem right at all. What, what's that following us? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the service tank. Alright, well, we're gonna we're gonna warp closer in before I make any adjustments. I wanted to be at this screen. I don't know why I changed it. So I'll, I want to bring up this because I want to see our time to maneuver node. Alright. 30 days to kill. <laughs> this is probably the better view for this, definitely. Yeah, it looks like our periapsis altitude is going to be about 4.8 million meters. Shouldn't be too bad. Wow. <laughs> Falling towards Jupiter is always very pretty. Super awe-inspiring just to watch all the orbits. I will probably never ever get tired of this view. <laughs> I would fly things to Jupiter all the time just to enjoy this view. All right, we're down to a day or so. Yeah, looks like we're coming down over the top here. Um, all right, so I'm going to slow down this time warp just a bit so I can check our telemetry here. 
What? Uh, apps? Oh, uh, did I? Yeah, I did plan for this. I did plan for this because I didn't want any interaction with any of the moons. That's why I came in polar. And also, we're going to have a unique opportunity to get some science from above Jupiter's poles. We won't be spending much time there, though, so we're probably going to have to time it. I will probably set that up for next orbit. Oh, man, but what if we don't even get into orbit? All right, well, let's uh, da, 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 make a note. No, no. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're not going to make maneuver nodes at all. That's that's fine. Okay, then. Decision has been made. Well, all right, we're 10 hours from our maneuver node. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes or so. So do we want to guess what the time is from here to here? That can't be more than a couple minutes, right? So all right, we'll just pause this time warp when we're about one hour away and I'll run the command and then hopefully we'll capture some nice polar science or something right <laughs> oh that's awesome wow okay I need to oh boy two hours <laughs> It's going to creep up fast uh, over Jupiter's north temperate bands. An hour and 28 minutes. I just want to take a good look at this because that's, that's amazing. We can probably push you off to the side just a bit. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> Back to business. Hour 20, uh, maybe it's going to take a little longer than I thought, because it looks like we are damn near there. All right, uh, oh, I don't have any science equipment on the orbiter. It's all on the drop pods. All right, well, I'll drop pod radio in. I think they're both linked to a common action group, so I will just hit it again in couple minutes there we go drop pod radio in all right let's hope for the best here maybe maybe we'll catch a unique bio maybe we won't either way hopefully we'll have enough to get into orbit and we'll be okay with it uh, north temperance bands north polar bands that is a unique bio now come on radio it in North Polar Bands, North Polar Bands, 25 minutes, 20 minutes, oh, oh holy crap, that's awesome. Alright, we gotta start getting oriented and making some headway on this burn. Uh, I'm not even sure that we're gonna have enough fuel to do this, but... I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> we can reduce our periapsis by quite a bit before we uh, drop into the atmosphere. Uh, we've lost connection, which means we can't radio our science in. Uh, should we actually collect it? Ah, we're back over the north temperate bands, and not no longer in the polar biome, unfortunately. Well. Estimated burn is 15 minutes, nodes in 13 minutes. Means we can come off the throttle for a second and time warp. Uh, yeah, nothing new. Unfortunately, we've already got that one. Bummer. Alright, so seven and a half minutes or so. Key up. We fold into the darkness behind Jupiter. All the clouds still look amazing. Alright, and we're just going to go ahead and use some physics warp and maybe some editing warp. And hopefully we'll see this orbital insertion actually happen. I Fingers crossed, I'm not sure how much fuel we've got left in this. 
Uh, if we have to sacrifice one of the drop probes for its fuel, then uh, by all means we will, because this mission will not be a success unless we achieve orbit. So, to see no. Not looking good, though. And now we, we actually can't ditch the uh, <laughs> the atmospheric drop cores because we have no connection. We've got no way of decoupling them, so we can't do any extraneous measures here. Yeah, it's like one unit of fuel. That's like three units of fuel. Not a whole lot of difference by just using its fuel without ditching its actual mass. I really wonder if we're actually going to see orbit on this. Even if it's a really high orbit, I'd be okay with that. All right, that looks like it's an orbit. Well, it was displaying as one, although this is currently not. Okay, never mind. Not an orbit. Come on. You can totally do this, dude. You can totally hit orbit. Hell yeah, there it is. Bing. We are in orbit. Thank God. <laughs> uh, nowhere near burning off all the fuel that I thought we were going to need to burn. I guess I can zoom back in and see what kind of orbit we're looking at here. Of course, we kind of we kind of know that already. No real reason I can think of. To uh, keep spending all the fuel in that particular manner. So we're just going to kill that off. And we are going to... Uh, oh yeah, no connection. <laughs> we need to let it get around to the other side of Jupiter. Yeah, I can do this from over here. Because this looks way better. Holy shit. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. It certainly is an impressive angle. Alright, do we have connection? We have connection. So we're going to run our boot sequence on our drop probes. Activate. Activate. 
get both short comms going on everything. I should because uh, they multiply each other's ranges. Activate. And that will certainly be useful. For in the next uh, pass, maybe two, we'll be dropping... We'll probably take one pass uh, next time around. We'll drop one of the atmospheric probes in. And then we'll save the other one and do that, uh, the pass after that. So, uh, it may be a while. And I would really... I would kind of like to know the drain time on these batteries. It's not like they have a whole lot to run and that core does shut down. But there's still a draw, and I want to know what, how many days maybe one of those will last. So I guess uh, I might have to replicate that back at the VAB. But we can get rid of that node there. And just to give myself a good uh, heads up, I think closer is probably better for our first drop off. So we'll just hit a maneuver node there. And we'll use that to set an alarm. Add alarm. Thank you. 306 days. And that's when we'll be dropping our first atmospheric probe, hopefully, to gather some awesome sciences from the uh, upper atmosphere of Jupiter before it smashes those drop probes into itty bitty little bits. So, um, I think that's a good place to leave it for us today. I mean, we've got Goer 3 coming up in like 90 days. Hold on, no, close details, it's not what I wanted to do. Where's Goer 3? Nowhere to be found. I know you're in orbit somewhere here, buddy. Yes, there we are. Uh, I guess set his target, Does it, it has a, will set his target show me his maneuver node? It will! Okay, so, <laughs> in 90 days, Goer 3 has to make his maneuver to intercept what are we hitting? Ganymede? Or Callisto? Callisto! Sweet. And that is in what, 101 days? Okay, so it looks like Callisto flyby is probably going to be our next episode. So, uh, thank everybody for hanging out. I do appreciate it. It's been a fun one. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Just, I appreciate it. And I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.